Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Lawyer and Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. With you once again is me, Ryan, the gaming lawyer. And if you recall, we were in the nightclub, the hive, and we were looking for some some boss guy. And I just rechecked the quest, and it is just to talk to him. But he's a big gangster, so this could be a little bit dangerous. So we gotta watch ourselves here. And I remember when we came here before there were goons, so there were some goons. At the, when I came out of the bathroom, they were at the top of the stairs. Those goons. And that's probably the way I need to go. What's in here? Doesn't appear to be anyone. Is anyone going to get pissed if I try and get in here? Security rating 4. Mm -hmm. I don't have a password, do I? Nope. That's a bit above my pay grade for the moment. Let's see, can I super jump up there? So he'd be up there. Well, there's people just chilling up there that look normal, that don't look like murderers. So, why don't I grow a pair? And go up the stairs, see what happens. I'm just gonna walk very casually. The stairs. It's gone. My pocket secretary. Something. No, man, you don't understand. Tong's email, the new basement security code, it was on it. You gotta look for that. I know, I know. Just keep an eye out for it, will ya? I will. I mean, I'm sure he will. Can I just take that from you? I don't want wine that bad. I'm afraid it'll start like a some kind of a brawl. All right. It's very bright and flashy in here. I wish there was a uh, a walk sure. toggle button. Everyone's swimming in profits right now and playing with their toy augmentations. Nobody's thinking. That that dude. Yeah. What kind of world are we leaving for them? Is he sincere or is China's he being like, does he think he's playing the slickest game year. ever? We pretty much have the monopoly on human enhancement. Uh, he seems to actually maybe care a little bit about it. That's the other thing, aside from saying, like, oh, my dad is so powerful and he's a boo boo boo. Is you're like, you know what? All I care about is the children. And that. That could be so fake. Of course, after you've been drinking, I guess it could sound like a good idea to talk like that. Hey, buddy. I was the best lounge in Hensha, up at all of us. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, is this him? It's the man. Wait a minute, I didn't look around for uh, that pocket secretary the guy said he dropped. I am so terrible. Can I go in here? Can I go back? Okay, I'm not gonna try and open that door right in front of them. I don't think that would go down very well. Okay, I don't... I'm not seeing a pocket secretary, but we'll keep our eyes open. So here's the man himself, right? Or the manager, at least. You work here? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaylo. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? All your money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backwards, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. 
He's got bigger things to worry about. Okay, the conversation opened with a lot of alpha. Where, where can I shoot my pheromones at him? Okay, he's confident, pragmatic, and envious. Pooler information. Okay, he does seem greedy for personal gain, so. Are you done? Oh, whoops. The people hunting Van Bruggen work on an international scale. If he's not on your radar yet, then Tong is way behind. I can help him catch up, but only if we pool our information. Don't try to bullshit a bullshitter. Van Bruggen's the only game in town. You know it, I know it, so of course Tong knows it. You can tell us nothing we don't already know. Uh, but uh, here's something you don't know. Van Bruggen's trained in counterintelligence. That's how he got his hacker skills, among other things. You look under every rock on this island, he's gone. You're never gonna find him. Where can I spray pheromones in his face? Here we go. He's been very alpha, so I'll appease him. He got a little beta, but a lot of alpha. You see that bodyguard over there? If you're gonna play tricks on the Guaylo, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Ooh. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office, downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. Hmm. Alright, well. And I got an achievement. Darker Shades. I don't know if you can see that on the recording. It's little steam achievement. Okay, well, we're going downstairs. Now, should I be suspicious? This is one of those moments where I have a dim recollection of having a massive shootout in here. But... I, I think I just came in guns blazing. I, I seem to recall like taking people out just to go up these stairs. So I, of course, I don't remember this well at all. It could be things go south in a bit, but I like to think that my slick talking has uh has bypassed some violence. So we're, this is open now. supposed to go down down there okay and this leads to another security rating five that's not gonna happen what was in here I don't want to bust in on it's like the DJ or something oh it's a storage room sweet this shall be my new base of operations, from which I will, this is where I'll drag any bodies, and uh, where I'll hide if anyone comes after me. Okay, nothing, nothing in here. Remarkably, there's a lot of stuff in here for there to be nothing for me, except for this wine. I don't really, I don't really need wine. If I need to sauce somebody up, I'll give them that cocktail I, I apparently am still carrying around. Ew. Okay, that's not a little ADD, little ADD. That's nothing to worry about. Gonna save in case like this dude whips out a gun and just starts shooting me as soon as I get down here. Hey, buddy. What's that say? Hi. Nice. Those custom jobs. They sure ain't see why I am. Yeah. They mostly make knockouts. That's what I heard. You take what you can get, though, right? I'm assuming he's standing square in the middle of this hallway. Uh, for a reason and that if I try to go by him, which my quest isn't over there, but I have a strong implication I shouldn't be going that way. Alright, so we have a vent, which I will uh, open. It's good to know where the vents go. Always good to scout out your uh, your location. Is that him again? I think it's the same the boss guy. So maybe he's legit. 
It's not. I don't see a bunch of goons in there waiting for me. Is that all this thing did? Was let me peek in his office before I walked in? Yeah, he does appear to be alone. I'm still gonna save. All right, let's see what's going on in here. What's up with this guy? Nope, not gonna take it while he's looking at me. Ebook. Nope, not gonna mess with this stuff while he's sitting right here. So we got some privacy now. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? Wow. You're still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods. Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Wow, he just... Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Wow. For all my apprehension, that actually... He just told me where to find the guy. Of course, he could be setting up another ambush. I need, I need to be suspicious. I can't just walk in there all doe-eyed. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Oh wait, I'm in the ladies' room again. I want to check the men's room because that guard might have left his PDA in here. It's the sort of place where a bouncer would... Ha 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 ha. Sort of place a bouncer would leave a PDA right by the toilet. Basement, our little basement club. Someone broke in the first rule. Is it is the first rule of the basement club not to talk about the basement club? Am I gonna go in there and fight someone? It's okay. Oh four one five. Oh 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 no no no. Keep it down. No, oh, put that down too. Jeez. Okay. I do. I was just ready to walk out of this place. Just walk right out. But I'm now feeling a compelling need. I have a feeling that's this door. Is this where the fight is? This the fight club? <laughs> no. Uh, what other basement door is there? Could it have been this one? Hmm. Okay, now we gotta see what someone is. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try walk by him. He'll give me a warning first, won't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a camera. Here's a vent. Here's me going into a vent. A little down a rabbit hole here, but I overheard a guard. See, again, I have to express some admiration for this game. The way it unfolds. You overhear a good guard talk about a PDA. It gets you looking for places where a guard might leave a PDA. So I wouldn't have checked the toilets. Oh shit. Is, that a, is he dead? He's not glowing. I wouldn't have checked the toilets, but I did. And then I found something about a, a fight club down here that made me come back when I was just ready. I was content to walk on. And now, I have a rate of fire upgrade. You know what I think that would be good for? Sometimes if you're sniping, you need to fire more than once. Combine with the rate of fire upgrade. Okay, is that all that's in this room? This guy looks... dead. He is described as dead body. Let's see, who was he? guys aren't just anyone, and I'm the one who got us into this mess. I'll find a way out to get us out, please. Hmm. This guy thought he could sweet-talk his way out of some kind of trouble. 
This does not appear to be the fight club I was hoping it would be, but... Oh, crap. The hell am I? Where am I? I have no idea what I'm doing. Exit the sewers? No, I don't want to go in the sewers. It's gross. Where does this go? This place is huge down here. Is this the coat room? Okay, I gotta save. <laughs> Security rating three. Oh my gosh. They're a gang, right? They steal stuff. And I'm I'm a security man. I steal right back. Like Robin Hood, except they keep the stuff. Reverse Robin Hood? I don't know. Okay. We need to get here. Right? means we're going to be setting off an alarm almost immediately. That's what it means. Yep. Nope, we're not going to have time to mess around getting that other data cube. It is just not going to happen. In fact... Access oh, that was so close. Luckily, we get multiple attempts. Oh no, I forgot about the system lockdown. I need to get out when it's looking that close. The thing is, I, I finished those things off with like 0.23 seconds to spare before. Does anyone care? Does he care I'm in here? He's looking right at me. Both of you. Alright. Coats? Coats anyone? Let me turn off all these damn cameras. Hopefully. Okay, there's there's the, uh, the pie. The special reward at the end. You gotta be crapping me. You know what? Screw that. 25% chance. My ass. If it's a, number, if it's a one node, I want to get in. Okay, I'm not gonna keep doing it. That's stupid. Access granted. That last one up in the corner might have been a long shot anyway. Set it up. Mm. Nothing I care about. Bells, brass knuckles. Don't give a crap. It's a lot of work for emails I don't really care about. Oh, this is intricate. Okay. Well, let's see. Go here, and then crap. I think it's worth it just to go straight for the spam. Oh, I can't go straight for the spam, can I? Can I? Look for the spam. Look for more spam. In range. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Access granted. All right. Virus. This is what I was looking for. Cameras off. See, it might not be important now, but in case I have to come back here and kick some ass. This is. You guys might be tired of watching me hack by now. Or you might love it. Do you love it? You know what? I'm gonna use a nuke virus. Because I got lots of them. Mm hmm. I sure do. And then I'm gonna me meander my way around. No, I gotta go. I gotta go for it. mess around this time. I'm not going for the extra node. Heck, I am going for the nuke on this. Did I get my nuke back? Going straight for it. Going straight Access for granted. it. Okay. Credit 
credit ship. 376 credits? 533 credits? That was worth it as hell. Is this where they take the thousand dollars when people come in? If that's true, then uh, there must not be a lot of people paying. that bouncer won't. He, the other guys weren't bouncers. The bouncer is totally looking the wrong way. Oh, crap, we turned this off. I don't need that on this whole time. Here, close these up. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? We'll, we'll leave via the method that we were permitted to be. I'm not making sense. This is an area that I had a permission to go to. That going through that door right there. I went in that door. I'm coming out that door. This door seems like a very bad hey, idea. Oh, leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby, the bartender, the real bartender. That is. <laughs> Why would I antagonize him? What? You all look alike to me? That's terrible. Thanks. That I is, just might check that out. I can't you believe do that. that was even an option. That is terrible. Alright. What? I already came to this guy. What can I get you? Oh, this is new. Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong Operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Nope. Sorry, not my kind of thing. All right, Guaylo. But something tells me you'll be back. I might be back. I have a card to get in here for free. If I want another one of those foofy cocktails, I'll come back, come right back to you. Okay, and I remember seeing, I think I know where this place is where we're going, because I remember seeing the signs earlier and being like, what's that place? All right, come on. Loading screen. Little little catch up on the lag. I do get a little lag coming into an area for the first time, but all in all, holy crap, I'm still like very pleased. I'm used to this game not performing well. Alien Isolation performed pretty decently, but I'm not used to this one performing well. Okay, let's let's verify that. Yep, that's where I thought it was. Okay. wonder if I've missed out on all sorts of things by not going into the sewers. So I feel like I've just walked up to everybody and just... Oops, and just kind of haven't had to be sneaky. Alright, so this is it. For reference, I'm just going to look around the corner, make sure there's not a secret way in. A secret way in. Like this. Nope, it's a dead door. Doesn't do anything. It's just there for decoration. As doors frequently are. So I like to have a room where instead of getting a picture or something, I just put like a fake door. Be like... I wonder if devs, video game developers, like the art designers, are like, oh yeah, the door is going to be the next big wave in modern art, postmodern, whatever we're in. Post, post, postmodern? Okay, hold on. What is in the menu? I just realized I'm hungry. I mean, I have to eat. I might, I'm on a little roll. This is two episodes in a row. But I just realized I'm hungry. I don't know what that is, but I'll eat it right now. Just a bowl of red, goopy looking weird stuff. 
这个月又得捉襟见肘了。房租钱又不够了。Can't meet the rent again. I'm eavesdropping. Now, 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 No, he's drooling at my implants. Uh, no. no, I don't like them. They creep me out. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want a pot? Do I have to buy one? And no air conditioning. Broken. Mm. We got air vent to ventilate the place, though. Not so bad. So, how long you want? One month? Two months? Wow, he's really jumping right to the point. I didn't even say anything to him yet. You know what? If I may, I'd like to check this... Check out the uh, can I check out the units first before I commit to a lease because this place you really uh, that was quite the sales pitch and I, I gotta admit I am interested I am interested so uh, oh that red light scares me I'm just gonna um, there you go and of course why because I can but I'm not gonna move them in weird places that's reserved for business owners that piss me off that leads into his little nook I don't want to mess with that right that was his his back office maybe I can't get in there though what is that I see stuff in there oh, I'm doing it again I'm doing it again guys I'm compulsive. I can't help it. Let's see. So, get ready to hit that spam. Nope. Get ready to hit that spam. Nope. Get ready to hit that spam. Hitting that spam. Spam, set it off. Come on, come on, come Access on. granted. Okay. 75 experience for that. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. But gotta be stealthy. Gotta be stealthy. Oh, I forgot to check the implant stuff between episodes like I said I would. It's gonna hack. <laughs> You're all like, god damn it. Is he hacking again? I am. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready for the spam. Get ready. Get ready for the spam. Get ready for the spam. Oh, I didn't need the spam. The spam set it off. Access granted. Nice. Okay. Third time. Trash outside of 222. Nothing I really care about there. Make sure 301. We need to keep him happy until we slip him onto their ship. What? It's terrible. Damn, what's happening? Oh, it's Nigerian Chamber of Commerce. I think they, they got a lot of people. Pod 128. Many items. The former guests are still inside of 128. Okay. What? Does it say which pod this guy's in? 301. What, what, there was something about 301 in here. here. Whatever he wants before they put him on their ship. Is their problem. You can get Shanghai. No, I don't need. I roughly know what the triads are. They're like the most badass gang in China. You gotta respect them.
I just didn't even think about it. I automatically hit it. Okay. Um, three, two... This is the way. Okay, this is the way. Ready for spam? Definitely gonna hit some spam here. I should have hit that before. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get the. Access denied. What? 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 No. This is terrible. What? What just happened? <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna crouch like everyone else. Like I'm like what? Jensen, I. I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. I, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Do I want to pheromone her? No, I don't think so. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's I'm going on? About I just... It. I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, mm. the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged <laughs> into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. All right, let's hear more about it. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too, knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Two better talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How mm. so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew right. I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It yeah. drove a wedge between that us, and when we parted me. ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. This is going to be sensitive, because I think there might have been, she might have been jealous, but... Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, pig-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You Bad could say idea. that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just innocent. You can assume the good in people. Just don't act on it until they've proven it. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches wow. of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. 
They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Seems a little too obvious though, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, is there more? Tell me the task. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can improvise. Mm. Sounds like an awesome plan. But you know what? I'm not gonna oh, ask her for a reward. She's my friend. Come on, I'll take it. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. Death? To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous. X. Wow. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009, zero, zero, nine zero, here zero, in the hotel. Nine. You should read over everything if you can. Oh my god. Pod nine. Got it. I need to go. <laughs> Contact me with any updates and thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. I had no idea she was such an explosion of information waiting to come out. Okay, everyone's... <laughs> that alarm went off still. Things are... Here we go. Why does she think I can help her? I mean, I can't even walk into an apartment building without setting off alarms in the freaking receptionist's office. <laughs> okay, um... Well, that conversation pushed us into very, very long overtime in our episode here. So, you know what? We're going to call this an episode. Uh, I know, but he's probably thinking, like, yeah, I shouldn't have hacked everything. I should have just, I should have stopped while I was ahead. We could have been done with the episode in a timely manner. You're all like, man, I was hoping to be watching something else by now. And, and here he is, and actually, here I am still talking. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm going to end the episode. But I would like to thank all of you for joining me once again in another episode of A Lawyer Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Once again, you have been hosted generously by me, Ryan, the Gaming Lawyer. And if you liked the video, remember to rate, comment, and if you have not done so, subscribe and support my channel. And I would thank you greatly for that. And finally, I hope everyone is doing well. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.